If you're a junior developer who wants to be successful, you have to constantly be learning new things, new technologies, old technologies, new frameworks, new languages. It can get overwhelming fast. With so many different places to learn from, YouTube videos, medium articles, AI generated study guides, it can be difficult to even know where to start. But you're probably overlooking one of the oldest sources of information, books. Most software engineers don't read enough, but in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing four must-read books for junior developers. Each of these books is gonna to touch a different technology, one that you'll use every single day. Welcome back to Tommy Codes. My name is Tommy. Let's jump right into it. First book on the list is called The Unix Programming Environment, and this book is for anyone who's not confident in their Bash scripting or their Linux skills. If you don't feel like you're a command line wizard yet, if you get intimidated when you work with senior devs who can effortlessly flow around a Linux system, then you absolutely need to read this book. Unix is an ancestor to Linux. A lot of how Linux works is exactly the same in Unix. And this book was written in 1984 by two of the creators of the Unix system, Brian Kernighan and Rob Pike. It's gonna tell you everything you need to know about Unix. It's gonna go over the Unix philosophy. It's gonna go over some of the core utilities like grep, awk, and sed, which yes, are still present in Linux. It's gonna go over what files are, how files work in Unix. It's also gonna go over process management. After you read this book, you will be able to use the command line with a lot more confidence. And aside from just flexing on your other junior devs or impressing people, it's also gonna really enable you to tackle harder debugging challenges. If you ever have to do latency stuff, Oftentimes, you have to understand what's going on in the OS. You have to understand what's going on in your system. Reading this book will really make that so much easier. So many people complain that Linux and the command line is not really taught in schools and universities. Well, you don't need that in schools and universities. You can just read this book instead. Next up on the list is a book called Pro Git. And as you might have guessed from the title, this book is about the version control system Git, which is used by 99.9 .9 plus percent of all software developers and all software development projects. Not knowing Git will make it cause significant pain in your life. If you're fresh out of college, you might have memories of getting very, very frustrated with Git while working on a school project. If you do know Git, not only will you not waste a bunch of time, but you'll actually unlock new abilities and you'll actually be able to code with a lot more confidence even a swagger, dare I say. This book, by the way, in particular, will go over everything you need to know about commits, branches, the distributed nature of Git, et cetera, et cetera. But besides just telling you how all these APIs work and when to use them, it will actually go into the implementation details, which will really make it a lot easier to understand. The data structure that Git uses, the main data structure, the linked list, is not nearly as scary as it seems. And they make it very easy. They have a lot of good visuals. Really, really love this book. Oh, and did I mention it's completely free. You can read it online, 100% free. There's no excuse to not read this one. People will be able to tell, and especially if you're a junior developer, if you can start at your new company and prove that you already have a deep knowledge of a core tool that you're gonna be using every day, people will notice that, and that will garner you a lot more respect. So I, I can't recommend this enough. You definitely need to be reading this. And believe me, a lot of software developers do not know Git very well. And just by reading this book, I guarantee you'll be in the top 10%. And even if you're an intern or a new grad, you can be in a situation where you are the expert on your team with Git, just having read this book, even if there's people with like 10 plus years of experience. I'm, I, I'm not kidding. And if you're interested in Git, I've been recording some videos about various Git topics. Check out this playlist up here. Next up on the list, we have a book called TCP IP Illustrated. The Protocols, written by Richard Stevens. This book is all about computer networking. It tells you in detail how bytes on the wire actually get interpreted as intelligible messages by computers. It goes over everything you need to know about networking. It goes over IP addresses, MAC addresses. It goes over what TCP is, what UDP is. It goes into excruciating detail. The reason you wanna read a book like this that goes into extreme detail on a low level subject like networking is because networking is everything in 2025. Everything you're doing is gonna deal with the internet. Everything you're building is gonna be making network requests. And anything you're building is gonna be set up in a cloud where you're gonna to have to set up a virtual private network and understand how machines are talking to each other. And doing that well is gonna be really, really difficult, if not impossible, if you don't have this base foundation of computer networking. You don't necessarily need to read this one all the way through cover to cover, but you definitely need to read the key sections and understand stuff like TCP, understand stuff like DNS. And it's good to just have as a reference. And if at some point in your career, you're working on something where you need to go deeper into one of these particular networking quirks, you have this book available to you and it can really, really help you out. Finally, we have the Docker book by James Turnbull. 
Docker is a technology that's used to help deploy applications. It's extremely popular and it's also extremely polarizing. Regardless of how you personally feel about it, it's very difficult for you to be a software developer in 2025 and not interact with Docker to some extent. It's very likely your applications are deployed heavily dependent on Docker. This book will teach you literally everything you need to know about Docker. It assumes you know nothing other than just Linux and some general software development things, which you almost certainly do, especially if you've already read Unix programming environments. It goes into detail on how Docker works, how it's actually set up, how to use it on the command line, how to build images, how to push images, it goes into super advanced stuff, even goes into Docker Compose. So it really will teach you everything you need to know. And especially if you're just a software developer and not a cloud engineer or a DevOps engineer, you don't necessarily need to be an expert in Docker, but you do want to at least be competent. If you're at least competent, it'll allow you to save a lot of time, not have to bug quote unquote cloud engineers to do stuff for you because you'll be able to just serve yourself. It'll get you to the point where you can go end to end from idea to app running in the cloud a lot better. And without Docker, it's just really, really difficult. So for that reason, I recommend it to any developer. The only downside with this book is it's not actually for sale anymore. If you go on the website for the book, for some reason it's out of print and they're not even offering Kindle versions. I have found a few PDFs of older versions of this book online. I'm gonna link those as well. I still think it's worth reading, even in 2025. That's all the books for today. If you've read any of them before, definitely let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate the support as always. We'll see you next time on Tommy Codes. Check out some of my other videos in the meantime.